Our Zimbabwean authorities have noted with concern the situation that led to the national rugby team being ill-treated in Tunisia, but say they have made contact with fellow Tunisian counterparts. While rugby's governing body on the continent, Rugby Africa and the Tunisia Rugby Union have apologized to the Zimbabwean national team after they were forced to sleep on the streets in the North African country of Tunis. Social media was abuzz after this image is surfaced. They show Zimbabwe's national rugby team sleeping on the streets of the Tunisian capital. The players claimed they haven't been paid their match fee or daily allowances. They were also held up at the airport for six hours. Authorities took their passports after they were unable to pay a visa fee in Tunisia. Zimbabwe's sports minister says he has made contact with his Tunisian counterpart and have resolved the situation. The players and management have been fed and their hotel changed to suit the standards that we've always affording, that we've always afforded visiting nations to Zimbabwe. I've also been assured by the Zimbabwe Rugby Union that all our allowances happen until the Kenya test have been paid up. We will continue to monitor the situation and we will appraise you should the situation change. The Sables, as the national team is called, traveled to Tunis from Nairobi after losing to Kenya in a World Cup qualifier last weekend. We encourage the Sables to perform their national duty and continue to be ambassadors for the country by winning against Tunisia this coming Saturday. However, the Zimbabwe Rugby Union said disciplinary action will be taken against those players who took their grievances to social media. It's this new era that we live in of social media. Um, when we address the teams, and which I addressed uh, before when we were in Kenya, it's, uh, we, we emphasize the pride, the pride in wearing the jersey, the, prize, the pride in representing your country. And this is what, you know, what we emphasize to, to, to our, our players. Unfortunately, uh, you will get those one or two players who will think that they, you know, they are a law unto themselves. And this is what we have. And of course, the disciplinary processes will kick in when they return. Rugby Africa said in a statement the Zimbabwean players have since been moved to a suitable hotel. Ndundu Sitole, SABC News, Johannesburg.